This video is about the external environment, opportunities, and threats. The external environment shapes both firm and industry profitability in many ways, from complementary products and services, social cultural forces, such as customers' new desire for eco-friendly products, political, legal, regulatory forces, global forces, such as a trade war between the U.S. and China, ecological, natural environment, demographics, Walgreens can sell more drugs to an aging population, general economic conditions, or technological change, like streaming upending the cable industry. To keep all of these straight, we have pestle analysis, political, economic, sociocultural, technological, legal, and environmental. Now, some people have added long pestle analysis to make sure that you remember local, national, and global levels of each of these categories. But that seems excessive. And really, when we look at pestle, both legal and environmental fit under the political or governmental regulation sections. So really, we could shorten this to pest analysis. However, that doesn't bring up the same mental image. Now, I know when I mention politics, that will bring to mind images of your favorite and perhaps most hated politicians, but there's much more to this factor than them. Political factors those in which a government may influence the economy, a specific industry, or even an individual firm. Political factors include tax policies, monetary policies such as interest rates or money supply, trade tariffs, business subsidies, etc. that a government may levy. It can affect the economic environment to a great extent. One important factor is government spending. Direct government spending has increased every year. For instance, rocket funding from NASA, weapons purchased for the Ukraine, COVID vaccines and tests provided by the government, electric vehicles purchased for the post office, subsidies for corn, medical expenses for seniors, grants for solar companies, etc. And that's only the federal government. We also have spending at other layers. Now, as government influences business, business also tries to influence government, trying to get some of this spending. And as increased government spending and tax incentives for green technologies and other climate related regulations have increased, so have firms lobbying on these things. Targeted spending has increased from 2000 to 2021 from one and a half billion to 3.7 billion with over 2 billion spended towards climate lobbying alone in that time, as this has become the new large area of increased spending and focus by the federal government. Governments also have a strong influence with their regulations. And in the US, the amount of regulations increases every year. In 2019, the federal regulations alone were 185,000 pages. In the year 2021, there were over 3,000 notices of new rulemaking filed. Over 2,000 of these were added to the federal register. And 69 of these had significant regulations with an impact of $100 million or more. Now, it's important to note that while all firms tend to not like regulations, regulations tend to help incumbent firms in the industry and especially larger firms in the industry because they can uh, best have the resources to deal with all these regulations. And so the regulations can help bigger firms versus smaller firms and also help firms within the industry versus firms outside of the industry that serves as a barrier to entry. Economic factors are factors in a company's performance that directly impact a company and have resonating long-term effects. Economic factors include inflation rate, interest rates, foreign exchange rates, foreign direct investment, economic growth patterns, etc. For instance, a rise in the inflation rate would affect the way the companies price their products and additionally would impact the purchasing power of consumers, thus changing the demand and supply models for that economy. 
or a recession impacts some industries, such as travel, more than other industries like utilities. Social factors include those from the social environment, the market, including current and changing cultural trends, demographics, consumer preferences, etc. So for instance, consumers care more about the ecological impact of products than they used to. An aging population can help uh, companies and industries that focus on that demographic group. Uh, the need for gluten-free food changed many items in the food industry. And finally, uh, Americans continue to allow Black Friday sales to creep earlier and earlier in the year. Technological factors are factors that pertain to innovations in technology that may affect the operations of industry and the market favorably or unfavorably. This includes automation, research and development, and the amount of technological awareness that a market possesses. As mentioned before, Netflix streaming changed uh, the way we watch TV. More recently, AI-controlled robots have increased the number of products that Amazon can fill without uh, warehouse workers. The legal factors focus on the laws that affect business environment with the recognition that those laws can vary by country. For instance, consumer laws, safety standards, labor laws, etc. As stated before, this generally fits in the above political regulation section, but this is what the L in PESTLE stands for. The environmental laws, uh, again, fit under the previously mentioned political regulation, but the E in PESTLE stands for environment, and its focus is on factors that influence or are determined by the surrounding physical environment. This is obviously crucial for certain industries, such as power production, farming, but as the government considers broadly defined carbon footprint based taxes and credits, this may expand the impact to even digital product industries. Uh, the reason for this is servers use power and where that power comes from may or may not have a carbon impact. And what is that impact? And should we incentivize companies to you know, use the right kind of power? And so this is the way that what used to be a fairly focused environmental thing can now broadly be expanded to any and all industries potentially. Environmental factors include, but are not limited to, climate, weather, global location, global changes in the climate, environmental offsets, etc. Of note is that environmental factors can lead to the banning of your product. For instance, it was not that long ago that the incandescent bulb was banned in the United States for environmental reasons. Today, some states have set targets to ban uh, gasoline vehicles and only allow electric vehicles in their states. Hopefully next up, we'll be addressing all of the pollution that is being caused by the creation of the batteries for said electric vehicles. So have you seen there are many, many external factors that can impact industry and firm profitability, both favorably or unfavorably. And PEST, or if you prefer PESTLE, is a handy mnemonic device to help one remember them all when analyzing the external environment. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe or leave us an uplifting comment. Thank you.